Hi, this math Olympia question is an easy one, but also freakish. So, welcome to today's class. And if this is the first time you are tuning in, you are highly welcome. Trust me, you are going to enjoy the ride. Okay, now, like I said, it's easy but freakish. Now, if we are to solve it, we just need to apply some rules of indices and then we are good to go. So, first of all, let's rewrite the question that five. To the power of a is equal to 7 to the power of b oh this is b don't mind my writing i supposed to stay here while writing so that i can use my right hand but the lightning is better this way here yeah. so that is why i'm turning like this all right this is b is equal to one two two five now we have two equations here seven to the power of a is equal to one two two five 5 to the power of a, sorry, is equal to 1, 2, 2, 5. And 7 to the power of b, too much space. 7 to the power of b is equal to 1, 2, 2, 5. Okay, so what do we do? This, let's raise each side of this equation to the power of 1 over a, okay? Because I want only 5 to remain here, and I want to shift the a power to this side. So, this is going to be 5 to the power of A raised to the power of 1 over A is equal to 1, 2, 2, 5 raised to the power of 1 over A. Okay, similarly, let's raise each side of this equation to the power of 1 over B. Okay, so we are going to have 7 to the power of B raised to the power of 1 over B is equal to 1, 2, 2, 5 raised to the power of 1 over b. Okay, now recall, recall that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times what? n. Okay, so that means that for this side, we will say a times 1 over a. Notice that a will divide a. You are left with only 5, right? So we have that 5 is equal to 1, 2, 2, 5 to the power of 1 over A. That is for this side of the equation. Then similarly, B, we divide B, we are left with 7 to the power of 1, that is 7, is equal to 1, 2, 2, 5 to the power of 1 over B. All right, now let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. All right, so the next is let's multiply equation 1 by equation 2. Okay, now equation 1 times 2, if we do that, we have 5 times 7, right? 5 times 7 is equal to 1, 2, 2, 5 to the power of 1 over A times 1, 2, 2, 5 to the power of 1 over B. All right, now we have 5 times 7 is what? 35 is equal to... Now, let's recall, let's recall the law of indices that states that a to the power of x times a to the power of y is equal to a to the power of x plus y, okay? That is when you have two numbers, they have the same base, and they're multiplying each other, just add the powers, okay? So, similarly, we have the same numbers here, yeah. the same base, sorry, so let's add the powers, okay? But... Before that, I would like you to subscribe, please, if this is the first time you are coming across this channel, and then on your notification bell, that is because I wouldn't like to miss you in my next video, okay? So please subscribe and on your notification bell, so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much. So we have 1, 2, 2, 5. We are going to pick one base, then we add the powers, 1 over A plus 1 over P. Okay, but 35 is equal to, this is same thing as 35 squared. Now, how do I know? How do I know that 1, 2, 2, 5 is same thing as 35 squared? So that means that square root of 1, 2, 2, 5 is 35, right? How do I know that? The truth is, in this channel, I have a math trick on how you can find the square root of any number. You can find the square root of any number in seconds without your calculator. Now, let me give you a hint of how I solved this. We have 1, 2, 2, 5. Then I need square root of it, okay? So what do I do? 
this 5 here, what number squared is going to give us a number that ends with 5? That is 5, right? Because 5 squared will give us 25. So we have 5 here. So you cancel the last two digits of this number. Now we have 12 here. What number squared will give you a number that is close to 12? And that is 3 because 3 squared is 9 and 9 is close to 12, but no more than 12. So that is 3. So that is how I knew that this is 35, even without a calculator. Like I said, check the video here in this channel, all right, on how to find square root of any number without a calculator and how to find square of any number without a calculator. So this is 35 squared raised to the power of what? 1 over A plus 1 over B as 35 to the power of 1. Once you have the same base in indices, you are just know that the powers are also equal or the same. So we are going to have that 1 is equal to 2 brackets 1 over A plus 1 over B. Okay? Alright. Now let's divide both sides of this equation by 2. And when we do that, we are going to have over 2 over 2. This we divide this. We are left with what? 1 over 2 is equal to 1 plus A plus 1 plus B. Now let's solve this. This is equal to the LCM of A and B is what? A, B. Now when A, B is divided by A, we have B remaining. B times 1 is B. Plus when B divides A, B, you have A remaining. A times 1 is A. So that means that 1 over 2 is equal to A plus B over A, B. Okay, so this is what we have. That 1 over 2 is what? A plus B over A, B. Okay, now um, notice from the, from the question, we are asked to find A, B over A plus B. <laughs> we are asked to find A, B over A plus B. Meanwhile, we have A plus B over A, B, which is the inverse of the question. So let's take inverse of both sides of this equation. Inverse of half is 2. And inverse of this is AB over A plus B. There you have it, the final solution. Thank you so much for watching and I love you so much.